Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, stepped back as senior members of the royal family three long years ago. But with how much or how many times they are spoken of in the UK, honestly, they are spoken of many, many times, even more than the Prime Minister of the UK. Even more than the King of England, King Charles. Harry and Meghan are spoken of more times than even the heir to the throne, Prince William. I don't think anyone is more talked about than Harry and Meghan in the UK. I honestly don't see anyone who is more talked about than Harry and Meghan in the UK. I don't see anyone who is more talked about than Harry and Meghan in the UK. I just don't see it. And my family, and that's despite Harry and Meghan fleeing the UK three years ago. You're having YouGov doing polls about members of the royal family who stepped back from their roles three years ago. They are doing polls about Harry and Meghan. And not just in the UK. Also, they are saying they are doing polls about Harry and Meghan in the US. My family, I call that madness. Don't forget, the royal family, they have friends at YouGov. They are partners at YouGov. As well as the British tabloid media. And my family, these polls conducted are meant to spread propaganda to claim that, hey, look, this royal is way so, so popular. My family, for example, YouGov did a poll. That's what they're saying. And based on their polls, that somehow K. Milton is way more popular than Megan in America. <laughs> I myself don't even think that they even believe that. Because if they did actually believe that, then guess what? K. Milton would be way more spoken about in America. But the thing is, it's Megan who is spoken about a lot. Even in the UK itself. My family, just think about what happened for King Charles' coronation. The main question was whether Harry is coming or not. Look at what happened just a few days ago on King Charles' second coronation in Scotland. The main question, once again, was, is Harry coming? And my family, the tabloids went further than that. Because of how boring King Charles' second coronation was and the boos that were so loud from the public, they even had to pay paparazzi to get photos of Harry and Meghan at the 4th of July parade. And when they got them, they kept it. They kept them. Until the next day, until after King Charles' second coronation in Scotland. And then they published those photos. And then they were like, oh look, this underlines that Harry is now independent. My family, I feel like the problem is, the reason why these numerous polls are conducted is even until right now. The tabloids and some individuals have still not yet accepted that Harry and Meghan stepped back as senior members of the royal family years ago. My family, if Meghan is not popular, then why is it that they talk about Meghan way more times than they do. Those who claim 
are way more popular than Megan. My family, once again, as I've said, I don't think for one second that those who spread these lies even believe what they say. They just want to brainwash the public and please the senior members of the royal family who care so much about getting the highest poll numbers like what William cares about, like what Kim Milton cares about to be on that front page. But sadly, as much as I would wish for Kim Milton and Prince William to be on that front page of Daily Mail every single day, the sad thing is even Daily Fail does not care about them. The only time they ever mention William and Kim Moulton is when they're trashing Harry and Meghan. My family, please kindly hear this, <laughs> some things about this poll conducted by YouGov in America. Just hear this, this part. The Prince Harry is now more popular in America than Prince William. Seven months after his memoir sent his approval rating into free fall. My family, they are saying that because of Harry's memoir spare, somehow his poll numbers went down. <laughs> My family, you know, when you see these reasons or explanations as to how they're claiming that, hey, look, this is why months ago, Harry's popularity went down because of his memoir spare. My family, right then and there, you have to ask yourself some questions. My family, and when you ask yourself important questions, like, for example, who stands to benefit if Harry does not write you know, his memoir, does not tell his story? The tabloids do. The royal family can keep on lying and lying about Harry Meghan. They also benefit from Harry not writing his memoir or telling his own story. And my family, I found this quote, this very, very important quote that I want you to hear from George Orwell. Now, George Orwell said this and I quote, the father, a society, drifts from the truth. The more it will hate those that speak it. I want to repeat this amazing quote. I like this quote. The father, a society, drifts from the truth. The more it will hate those that speak it. My family, the one thing that Harry did in his memoir, he's tell the truth. The one thing that Harry has done by going to court against UK tablets owned by Rupert Murdoch and Jonathan Rothmere is just Harry has told the truth of exactly what's going down, what's happening in the UK. Like what Harry has said in court. Democracy fails when the press fails to properly scrutinize those in power. The government, hold the government accountable and instead gets into bed with them to maintain the status quo, like what Harry said in court. And my family, just a few days ago, I was reporting about Rupert Murdoch's party whereby the Prime Minister in the UK, Rishi Sunak, attended with his wife, a party hosted by the owner of different UK tablets, like The Sun, Madoc also owns, you know, The Times. They proved Harry right. You are the next Prime Minister, who is believed to be K. Starmer, also attending a party hosted 
by Rupert Murdoch proving Prince Harry right. That indeed, the press has chosen to get into bed with the government instead of holding the government to account. For you to become a prime minister in the UK, you have to wine and dine with Rupert Murdoch. You have to have Murdoch, Rupert Murdoch, wave his wand, you know, his magic wand in your favor. Picking you as the next UK Prime Minister. Sadly, that is what happens. Today, I read an article whereby it said that the former Prime Minister of the UK, Tony Blair, said that if Rupert Murdoch calls, and ask you to go somewhere. What happens is. You go. Proving. Prince Harry right. And my family. And that's where. This quote. Comes in. From George Oil. The father. Of society. Drifts on the truth. The more you will hate. Those. That speak it. My family, I love this quote. I love this quote so much. It explains so much. It explains why YouGov has to say that the reason why Harry's popularity went down is because of his memoir. And yet millions of people bought that memoir. Read Harry's memoir spare. Harry's memoir spare is a bestseller. It's a bestseller. It sold millions of copies in America. My family, millions of copies in America. The power that Harry has, the influence he holds. And my family, however, you're having YouGov saying that, oh, look, Harry actually went down because of his memoir spare. Because he told his story. That's why his popularity went down. Because he told the truth about the royal family. That's why his popularity went down. My family, Harry only told the truth. And those who are lying that his popularity went down because of that. My family, it's because they hate hearing the truth. And they're lying about Harry's popularity going down because if it did go down then they'd stop talking about Prince Harry Daily Mail would not have to pay money to paparazzi to harass Harry Meghan in New York City to be able to find out where Harry and Meghan were staying in New York Daily Mail won't have to pay paparazzi to stalk Harry and Meghan their home in Montecito, California. They will not have to do that. But that is what they do. And no wonder, every single time, Harry and Meghan are popped. It's always Daily Mail, a tablet that Harry blames for losing, for Meghan having a miscarriage, for losing a child, for Harry losing a child. It's always Daily Mail. That is the tablet that always has a paparazzi photo of either Megan or Harry or the entire family. Megan, Archie, Lilibet, Harry. It's always daily fail. My family, they're so obsessed with Harry and Megan. And that's why they can lie as many times as they like that Harry is unpopular. But the thing is, the actions tell you a different story. GB News, for, for example, my family. GB News, for example. Or should I say GB propaganda? Because all it does is spread propaganda. All it does is keep whining and moaning about Harry and Meghan on a daily, daily basis. Like, somehow, they must have a segment 
trashing Megan and Harry on GB News. Like, even when something has nothing to do with Harry and Megan, they love to find a way to bring in Harry and Megan's name into a story, into anything really. Because it's Harry and Megan who gets them clicks. The Harry and Megan who they call unpopular. My family. My family, this quote from George Oyl, I like it so much. The farther a society drifts on the truth, the more it will hate those that speak it. You know, I love this. I love this quote. I love it. I love it. It explains the truth of even why some trolls are still angry about Harry's memoir spare. They did not like hearing the truth. My family. And then they go ahead to claim that Megan is unpopular in America. That Kate is way more popular than Megan in America. My family, Kate and William were in America the other day in Boston. And my family, they were booed. They were booed in Boston. They were booed in Boston. When has anyone ever since seen Harry Megan being booed in the US? It's never ever happened. It's never ever happened. Even in the UK, Harry and Megan are not being booed. It's Charles, Camilla, Kate, and William. They're the ones who are being booed constantly whenever they step out. My family, you know, we must expose the liars for lying. Because the actions of what's happening around, it always tells a different story. My family, and then they always target Megan. It's Megan who is the target time and time again. You know? You can call it misogyny. You can call it racism. You can call it, you know, hate, bigotry. Because it's everything, it's everything that I've said and so much more my family. That jealousy that Megan, a bi racial woman, Harry fell in love with her. And Harry chose to be Megan's husband. Archie and Lily's father. Rather than follow William around. Rather than put up with abuse and be like, the monarchy is so, so amazing. It's so amazing. It's an amazing institution. Because that is what they wanted. For Megan and Harry to put up with abuse and then instead of Speaking out about the abuse that they're experiencing, to just be like, hey, look, the monarchy is an amazing institution. And just take the abuse, take the insults, take the attacks, take the smear campaign, and simply just do nothing to defend themselves. They also have been wanting so, so hard. They've been trying so hard to destroy Harry and Meghan's marriage. My family, and I'm happy that they've always been failing. And my family also. It's such nonsense to be doing polls about someone who does not even live in the UK. Someone who lives in the US. My family is like, for example, my family, Adele, an amazing singer who is British, who now lives in America. And then you're having a British research company with the links to the royal family doing polls about Adele who now lives in America. My family, it's utterly pathetic. It's utterly pathetic, really. It's just pathetic. Harry and Meghan are private citizens living a private life. Yes, they are public figures. Yes, my family, they are public figures. Okay? They are famous. But my family, they are entitled to live a life of privacy. Megan is an American citizen. Lilibet was born in America. Archie has spent more time in America than he ever had in the UK because of the racism of the UK media. Prince Harry has spent more time in the US 
over the past three years after he and Meghan fled to the US. My family, and they're going to be spending more time in the US for the considerable future because that is where they feel safe, as Harry said. My family, the problem I see here is that they refuse to accept that Harry and Meghan have left. They seem to be unable to move on from Harry and Meghan. They seem to be unable to move on from Harry and Meghan and focus on the taxpayer-funded royals they have in the UK. They just can't accept it that Harry chose Meghan. They can't accept that Harry's fled the UK and he ain't coming back. They just can't accept it. My family, it's high time they accept it and focus on the taxpayer-funded royals that they have in the UK and leave Harry and Meghan alone. If they want to do polls about members of the royal family, then by all means, let them do it. Let them do that for William, for Kate, for Charles, for Camilla Parker Bowles, whom they call working members of the royal family. And leave Harry and Meghan alone. Harry and Meghan don't earn a penny of taxpayer money. But from how they are spoken about in the UK, how often they are spoken about my family, you would think that Harry is the king of the UK. You would think that Meghan is the queen or of the UK, my family. That's what you would think. My family. You would think that Harry is the prime minister even of the UK. But guess what? Even the prime minister does not get more press coverage than what Harry and Meghan receive. For my family, for Harry and Meghan, it's always negative coverage from the UK racist tabloid media. Who can't stand that Harry would much rather be Meghan's husband, Archie and Lily's father, rather than put up with the nonsense, abuse, and bullying of the UK media, who have, to, who have always wanted to destroy this pair, who have always wanted to see Harry single and happy, unhappy and suffering. My family, I'm glad that Meghan saved Harry. I'm glad that Meghan came into Harry's life and saved Prince Harry. My family. And the tabloids never ever had Prince Harry. You know, somehow they always think that, oh look, we had Harry until Meghan. They've never ever had Harry. Harry, even when in the military, he has always expressed how much he loathed the UK media, the tablet press, because of what they did to his mother. And my family, after what they did also to his wife, it's, all, it's only made Prince Harry, you know, not be able to even stand them even more. My family, because Harry does not like them even one bit. And my family, if they think that somehow they can bully Prince Harry back to the UK, it's not going to happen. If they also think they can bully Meghan out of Harry's life, it's also not going to happen. With this constant smear campaign, with this constant hate campaign, with the aim of turning people against Meghan, my family, their evil plots will not succeed. So my family, it's high time that you go and tablets start doing polls about royals in the UK. And leave Harry and Meghan alone. Harry and Meghan don't earn a penny of taxpayer money. And Harry, Meghan, they feel safe in America. And no matter what tablets do, my family, they will not succeed in hounding Harry and Meghan in America. They will not succeed, my family. Harry and Meghan feel safe in America. And I'm happy that Harry told us he and his family, he and Meghan, you know, 
they feel safe in America. And that is where they'll always be living, in America. My family, a place where by Harry Meghan fled to. And every single day, whenever they attack Harry Meghan, they always prove Harry right. That Harry made the perfect decision. Harry made the perfect decision to keep his wife and kids safe by fleeing the UK. My family, just remember Harry's words. Please look at this kindly. Please. Family is my priority. Right. right? The safety of my family is my priority. Right. right. And that is the main reason that we left. Unfortunately, the circumstances back there hasn't changed. In fact, it's only got worse. Um, I feel safe here. My family feels safe here. Um, I'm happy. My family is happy. The safety of my family is my priority. I'm happy and my family is, ha is happy. We feel safe here. My family, UK media and this so-called YouGov, they want Harry and Meghan to feel unsafe in America, to feel unwelcome in America. America is Meghan's home. It's a place whereby Harry and Meghan fled, fled to after a torrent of abuse from the UK media. And my family, I want to tell this UK media, the tablets, the Maddox, the Rothmers, you will not destroy Harry and Meghan's lives in the US. You will not. Your evil plots will not succeed. Your hate campaign already is a failure. The world is calling you all out and demanding this hate campaign against Harry and Meghan stops right now. And no weapon formed against Harry, Meghan, Archie, Lady Bedana, and Dory Raglan shall ever prosper. My family. And it's high time. The tabloids, YouGov, it's high time they back off of Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, and accept that Harry and Meghan fled the UK and that they ain't coming back. They are not coming back. It's high time they accept it. It's high time they accept that it's their fault that Harry fled the UK. It's their fault. And it's high time they accept it and move on. It's high time they move on. And it's high time they leave Harry and Meghan alone. And they must leave Harry and Meghan alone, my family. They must. Because right now, from what I'm seeing my family, they have not reached that acceptance stage yet. They, they just have not. They just can't accept it. But it's high time they do. It's high time they accept that Harry already chose and he chose his wife and kids. Like what a man, a husband should do. Choose his wife and kids. And my family, I applaud Prince Harry for always making his family our priority. Harry truly is a good man with a very, very good heart. A man with a heart just like his late mother, the late Diana. Harry, we love you and we always support you. And hate never wins. Love wins. America is a great place to live. That's not my words. Those are Harry's words. And that is where he's staying from now on. And for a very, very long time. And it's high time. Those who refuse to accept it. Accept it. And they won't. Turn Americans. Against Harry and Meghan. They will not. Because that is what they are trying to do. My family. Stay tuned on this video. Love you always and forever. You know, I haven't seen Megan for some time now. You know, the last photo we saw of Megan was that 4th of July parade. My family. The last time Megan ever said anything publicly, you know, let's say a speech was in New York. That's more, more like once this year. But yet every day, she's attacked, insulted, abused. My family, every day they prove Harry and Meghan right. 
of why they had to flee the UK. They prove Harry and Meghan right. That Harry and Meghan did the right thing to flee the UK. And my family and they, Harry and Meghan, they should never ever look back. Never. Keep moving on with their lives, my family. Keep thriving. And keep being happy. That's what Harry and Meghan should keep on doing. And my family... And it's high time this tablet stay away from Harry and Meghan. It's high time they need to. And we'll keep calling for them to stop attacking this abuse of Harry and Meghan. It needs to stop. And my family, and they will stop. They will stop. Make no mistake, they will stop. My family, stay tuned on this video. Love you always and forever. Hate never wins. Love wins. And stay tuned on next video. God bless Harry, Meghan, Archie, Libertana, and Dora Leglan, and all of you members got at home stay tuned for our next video harry and megan are the most popular royals in the entire world in the entire world let no one ever tell you otherwise stay tuned to our next video love you always and forever hello members of the Scott family tv first of all i want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel we don't take it for granted that you support this channel I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much family from the bottom of my heart and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love you family. Always and forever. Sayonara.